Namaste, it's me Ramesh Karna. I'm going to teach you social study today. Uh, social study of class 10. See here, unit 2, lesson 1. Previous chapter I have taught you, uh, unit 1, lesson 1 and lesson 2. About the human resource and FDI, human development index. After that first unit, Today, I am going to teach you unit 2, development and its requisites, prerequisites, necessary we can say. Why we need development? Here, we see today and development also, what types of development? Among them, here is given one sustainable development. Sustainable, simply we can say sustainable belong to long lasting development. Development was carried out for a long period. But actually, what is called here sustainable development? The developmental activities. The developmental activities or practice which is carried out, which is carried out to fulfill the present need, present requirement without hampering or destroying environment, without destroying or hampering we need to do some developmental work for a long period. Such types of work is called here sustainable development. Here you can see the development practice, activities, work which fulfill the present requirement without hampering or harming the supply of resources for the future need. Of course, there is no doubt, development is so essential. We must need the development. We need development. Without development, our life is not possible. We know. But while to carry out the developmental work, we cannot hamper environment. Because today, if we use all sorts of resources for present demand, for present requirement, what will remain for the future generation? What will remain for future for tomorrow? So here, this is the ecosystem. To control this ecosystem, we must care for present also, for future also. For future, what sorts of requirements are there? Future need, present plan is today to carry out developmental work so that it is said for future generation any sorts of environment any sorts of what is called the biological sector or any part of the requirement for today's need we cannot disturb we cannot hamper we cannot destroy to carry out such kinds of work for example we can say we need to construct highway of course no doubt because our country is lagging behind of the transportation development to carry out road transportation transportation we need to make the big highway construction road to carry out construction road sometimes we have to cut down the forest we have to cut down the tree that is not the way we need development, but if it is essential to cut the tree, in place of those trees, how many is going to cut? More than that, double or triple than that, we should have to replantation in some other places, in some other areas. If we shall able to cut one lakh tree, we must plant three lakh tree in any other places. So today if we will cut down the tree, 
that those three lakh tree which will have the plantation will recover tomorrow. We will make the balance in environment tomorrow. That is called here the way of applying sustainable developmental work. So here we can say in introduction you can see the development practice, activities, work which fulfill the present requirement without hampering or harming the supply resources for future need is known here sustainable development. Here need and importance of sustainable development. Why we need sustainable work? Sustainable development here is given to conduct world's aid fund donation for better development. Sustainable work we need and why it is essential because in our country various aid fund donation is coming from the various countries from the various donor countries donor agencies. If such kinds of aid fund and donation if will use properly our sustainable work will perfect in Nepal. So here we need sustainable developmental work because to utilize various aid fund donation in our country Nepal. Likewise to conserve the biodiversity of course sustainable work main target main focus main aim is to preserve biodiversity. If you will carry out any kinds of work, recently I have said you, if you will vertically carry out the transport as a road construction work, on the way if forest is cut down, while making that road, many trees cut down, in place of those cutting trees, how many number is going to cut, more than that, triple time more than that, that trees should have the plantations, replantation, afforestation in other places. So that the today's what sorts of our diversities are here, various animal species, birds, animals, all will protected tomorrow for future need, for future generation. It is solution of poverty elevation. It is the major solution for the poverty elevation. If various work, bridges, construction, any kinds of work will carry it out, they will provide the self-employment. And when self-employment will be there, poverty will be decreasing slowly and slowly. And one day, poverty will be completely root out from our nation. So, here, suppose we can see the newly made construction went our highways, mountain highways, Mahendra highway, even BB Koirala highway, whatever is made there, even the postal service road, whatever is made there, in that road various shops have been opened, various vehicles are running today, they all are the sources of self-employment and because of those self-employment, Poverty is day by day decreasing. If this work will give a continuity, one day poverty will be completely root out from the country. And our country also will be tomorrow highly developed. Likewise, to run development activities for a long time, Sustainable work, sustainable development needed here. What? To carry out developmental work for a long time. Once the road is made, once the bridge is made, once airport is made, if such kinds of road make one time, once big buildings, construction, hospitals, and various other school colleges are made, that is not for one day, not for today. That is for years and years, hundreds of years, thousands of years or more than that. Proper use of means and resources available inside the country. Proper use of means and resources available inside the countries. Water resources, forest resources, mineral resources, land resources, human resources. These all are the resources of the nations. 
these all are the resources of the nations we can use them properly market is there trade is there industry is there agriculture is there even the various other resources are available there we can use them properly through the sustainable development work here sustainable development work has divided into four dimension four dimension or aspect for sustainable development social sector development economic sector development environmental conservation even the political condition sustainable development has divided into four step four dimension first is social sector development second is economic sector development third is environmental conservation and fourth is political condition now we can see here social sector development when sustainable work will carried out inside the country then in society what will happen there poor and marginal group of people will be protected their right will protected human right fundamental right and various other rights are included in sustainable work and those work will be continuously one by one those all group of people will be controlled their problem will be solved so here also given protection of poor and marginalized group of people in our societies in our countries equality in resources distribution sustainable work also will help in social sector development about the equality in means and resource distribution equality in means and distribution ever similarly water resources forest resources even the mountain range and so on it's an every people it's an every group of people it's an every sector it's an every community will have approach they can use them proportionally they will have such kind of agenda they will prepare in sustainable work and according to those agenda they will have what is called the need they will have reach up to that place they can use them not only in one place it's in every place of the nation it's in every place of the country it's in every where in the world inclusive system in developmental activities social sector developing through the sustainable work what they will do they will include what inclusive system is in every caste gender even the black and white people major group of people is in every caste is in every political sector will be included in this activities there will be no partiality there will be no division they all work will be completed here with the combination of all the peoples all group of peoples all religion all caste all sex all gender is in every sector as you know nepal is multi multicultural multilingual peoples they all have equal rights so all will be involved in these activities similarly social progress and gender equality sustainable developmental work will highlight focus in social sector development in field of that what they'll do progress in the gender equality here as you know in gender equality male female both can be utilized in developmental work properly here as the ratio as the population of our country nearly both are equal male also female also so there is no parity among the male or female 
Likewise, other sectors that economic sector development, poverty elevation oriented economic activities will carry out by this sustainable development. Poverty elevation oriented. How to reduce poverty? How to eliminate poverty? Such kinds of economic activities will be conducted through sustainable development, self-employment, skill development training, even various other work that all work will be included in this work. Likewise, sustainable agriculture development activities such as the water resource management, organic agriculture system and so on. This all activities will be conducted there. Systematic development of agriculture, modern agriculture system, even the organic farming, water resource management, since our country Nepal is lacking irrigation facilities depending on the monsoon rainfall. So, water sustainable developmental main target is that to supply the water resources properly inside the, our country Nepal so that farmer can easily receive all facilities for the agriculture development. Even they will also try for the organic agriculture system also. Next one given here, environmental conservation. Sustainable developmental main target, main task is that how to protect environment. Today's world is feeling a great problem, big problem for environmental degradation, environmental pollution. Because of these various unwanted activities in ecosystem, environment is occurring occurring here likewise in the same way environment friendship environment friendly development environment friendly development work also can be carried out by this environmental conservation such kinds of work which can be carried inside the country but without disturbing or hampering environment Without pollution, the work will be carried out. Without making pollution, the work will be carried out. Conservation of biodiversity for the future generation. Because of this, biodiversity will be controlled for the future work. Next one is political conditions. For the environmental sector, here will be good governance, rule of law, absence of conflict, corruption, less society. This all work will carry out in this sustainable work. So this sustainable development work is very, very important for the country, for the world today. And these all sectors are mentioned in this sustainable work. So today, in this unit, in this lesson, today only this much. Next class, I'll discuss more than this. But there is homework for you. See here, two questions. What is sustainable development? Why is sustainable development useful for country like Nepal? The two questions you have to carry out. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. We shall discuss more in next lessons. Thank you.